Yes. Cyber Monday should set a new record for online sales this year. One optimistic sign, for the first time, more than half of U.S. consumers said they shopped online the weekend after Thanksgiving. Steve Kresner is president of PriceGrabber.com. He joins us to discuss Cyber Monday. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, you know, my big question, by the way, the numbers, Comscore is saying perhaps 1.5 billion. Right. Cyber Monday versus last year, one and a quarter billion. Correct. Decent, decent jump. Now, my big question, mobile. Right. What, how, how is the, the mobile revolution changing the way, you know, we're looking at phones, we're using apps, we're not using the web. I mean, what is the impact on online shopping? It's been huge this year. This is a year of tremendous shift, not only the shift from on, uh, offline to online, but on online from your laptop and PC, right, to mobile. Uh, at Price Grabber, we'll see about a quarter of our sales this holiday season come from mobile devices, both phones and tablets. What, what does that do to the landscape? Because if people are using native apps on their phone, does that end up, you know, how many apps do you actually have on your phone? You, you, may, doubt, you may get the Amazon app, you may get the eBay app, right. but maybe there are a whole bunch of other websites that to date have really counted on doing a lot of web surfing, a lot of price sure. comparison that maybe people don't want to do on their phone. Right. I think that that's right. I think the phone is really being used now for price checking and for store location. Okay. And research is being done on tablets and offline devices. Uh, but a lot of people are still using the mobile, mobile web on their phone. It's not all apps. Is, is, and you're talking a little bit about showrooming where I go into a store, I just take a, I scan the barcode and I see how much that same item would cost me online. Sure. And uh, how is that impacting Price Grabber's business? Um, that's been very helpful for us, but you know, the real research that's really a big trend for Price Grabber is that over 90% of consumers are starting out by researching online before they go to the store and even potentially showroom. So it starts online, goes to the store, and may goes finish up either online. in the store or finish online. Okay, interesting. Now, uh, another interesting thing that's happening here, uh, w by the way, when we speak about Cyber Monday and online sales, it's not necessarily online retailers that are, I mean, Amazon is number one. Right. But if you, if you strip out eBay, the other big retailers are Walmart, Best Buy, Target, right. and, and Apple. Well-known brick-and-mortar brands, absolutely right. Which is, which is kind of interesting. Uh, now, I'm curious, Cyber Monday, is it actually the biggest online shopping day of the year or is it just I mean it's, it's a marketing gimmick it originally biggest, it was a marketing gimmick right it, it absolutely was a, a marketing gimmick to start it really starts an entire sort of black week if you think about it now if it's starting to kick off that Wednesday into Thanksgiving and it finally finishes up you know, early this Wednesday it started out as a you know a clever way to c continue to spur holiday sales on Monday mm -hmm. but it is the largest online shopping day of the year it is because in previous years it was the, the largest online was was kind of the first week of December but it's I guess it's been getting earlier and earlier, earlier hasn't and earlier it? you know and what's really interesting is Cyber Monday is the biggest Monday but the next largest uh, online shopping day will be next Monday, and the third largest shopping day will be the following Monday. That it's Mondays wow. and the holiday seasons are the big online shopping days. Okay, and, and talk about what, what is the biggest challenge for Price Grabber in this environment in order to get consumers onto your site versus you know, going to Google product search? Well, I mean, that's really the number one thing is that you know, increasingly over the last four or five years, all searches, right, all purchases have started with search, and such a huge percentage of search starts with Google. So a company like Price Grabber really has to find a way, essentially, to earn a spot in consumers' mind between Google and Amazon. And if we, mm -hmm. you know, we do that by aggregating great content, right, in terms of product reviews, expert reviews, merchant reviews, providing uh, good images of the products, and a, then a broad network of retailers and merchants to give consumers choice around where to buy, range of price, convenience, and trust in the transaction. Okay. Steve, thanks so much for joining thanks us Thanks for today. having me.